Okay, we're back. We're back. We're here, Jared. We're we back. are. We're here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we uh, did a. We've obviously got the KO motor in Truitt's bike with the KO controller, and we've done a tune for it. Um, so I think first we're going to talk about is the gearing between the two bikes and, and what's different. Um, so, 56 tooth sprocket, 62 sprocket, uh, 16 inch wheel, 18 inch wheel. Um, yeah, that's uh, the gearing you want to probably use. You could go to a 58 on that, or you could go down to a 50, 55, um, but I like 56. Feels really nice straight out of the gate. Um, hello, Momo. <laughs> um, don't mind the dog. Um, but yeah, so gear your bike accordingly. If you don't, it will not feel right and especially will not feel right on a good tune like ours. So do not run really small wheels and a really big sprocket. Mm. So which, so Truett's bike has shorter gearing and mine has taller gearing. Just so just putting it out there, Truett's has more initial punch, mine has less initial punch. So, but more top end. Yeah, but more top end. Truett in this tune, essentially RPM maps uh, the same between the bikes. Uh, Truett runs um, definitely, or Truett runs less phase amps, so a whole over 100 less phase amps. But I run definitely 620 phase amps versus 765. Yeah, so, and this feels like it has more torque than what this does. So, and it's just basically, I mean, look, this is a heavier bike. Well, I do have an extended swing arm, but this this is a rocket. And just the, the wheelie power, the front wheel popping power is insane. So that's the first thing we kind of wanted to touch on. Um, yeah, 720 phase amps, uh, or even, yeah, I had it on 720, I think, initially. I think it was a 720. Um, yeah, I, you'd go around the corner and it was really good for wheel stands because it'd just go up on quarter throttle. But you'd go around the quarter, you quarter, you'd go around the corner, like on our track, and it would just be lifting the whole time. It was just, oh, it was just, it was so hard to ride. So, yeah, I'm now at 620. Um, 650 as well feels pretty good, but 620 is that extra smoothness. <laughs> so, if you're running out tune, you're looking at these settings. What you, want to do, what you want to do is probably start at a lower phase amps and a lower DC amp. So maybe start at 400 phase amps and maybe 200 amps if you're on a, a high power battery and then work your way up. Have a look at the RPM map. That's kind of the main part. And then a few of the other settings on the, uh, on the blue page with the controller parameters. So definitely have a look at like, probably you could almost copy them in most instances, but start with a lower phase amps, work your way up because depending what your gearing is, it could be insane. And 765 is not insane on mine. It's brutal and it's it's fast, but it's not uncontrollable, where 765 on this is like, meh, meh, meh. True it, having a smile from here to here. So, it's good. something to think about. So, True it, how are you uh, liking the, um, the KO motor on 620 amps versus the Suron motor on 765 phase amps? Yeah, it's a lot better. <laughs> it's a lot better. Um, yeah, having all that stupid talk is so good. And um, being able to gear the bike properly and normally. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. It, you know, people will say that the Suro motor has a, a higher RPM, but it lacks a lot of torque. So this setup is just perfect. It's exactly how the bike should be set up. Um, and it's just insane. It's just wheelie horsepower for days. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, we also played around with the RPM map a little bit, um, just purely for fun. So we tapered off. Um, we, tape, we tapered it off slower, um, purely just for fun. If you're having motor issues running um, this RPM map that we're about to show you, uh, like jitters, then just dial it back. Um, anything else to touch on that, Jared? Not, not really. So if you do get like vibrations from the motor, it just means your phase amps are too high. Yeah. So either change your gearing, lower your phase amps total, or you can start playing around with your RPM map. Um, you can normally pinpoint where it is if you do have the Android app and you can kind of look down your phone and see what motor RPM you're at. Um, but generally, we even had an issue with that because we have the correct gearing. So if you're pushing such high phase amps and you, you, really need, you really need it, you probably got the wrong gearing for the bike for the application that you're after. So there's something to consider. Cool. You can uh, run through that now. Cool. 
Okay, so just gonna run through Truett's map. So the first part of this is the same, and most people should run pretty much the same as what's on, on this page and the next page. So we're running a 72 volt tune. Our max line current is 275 amp. We're BMS limited, um, hopefully changing that soon. Max phase current is set to 620 amp. Our uh, threshold low, which is our, um, our voltage low on our throttle, we've set that to one volt. So from default after a factor, after an auto calibration, it should be about 0.94 or 0.95 of a volt. Um, so we kind of just push that up um, to about, yeah, one volt. Threshold high, we leave as default after the factory calibration. ACC sensitivity, 218. This is your throttle, throttle ramp over time. Back throttle was zero, weak RSP is set to four. This is your field weakening. We don't run a lot of field weakening. Like, you know, 100 kilometers an hour is enough for the kind of riding me and Truett do. So, you know, generally like dirt bike style riding. Uh, SKP is set to five. The rest of this is just your PIDs, so we haven't touched that. Um, so next page, which is your controller function. So brake uh, set to invalid, this is your if you're running brake sensors, you want to change this, but essentially I think everyone should run invalid. PC13, in the newer software, this will actually say sensors. You want to set this to none or option five. Uh, gear default D, that's just factory default. Parking, you want to disable that. Follow, you want to change to EABS. Reverse charging will change at the same time. I'll come back to that in a sec. Uh, throttle is line, um, mid-speed. Um, we're not using this, this is for your eco button. So Truett has no eco button and just max all the time. Um, and over here where we've got our back current, low speed isn't used by the way. So back current, 25 amp. This is essentially the regen that you feel as soon as you, as soon as you turn off the throttle and you're coasting down a hill. Uh, max back current is actually, it actually kind of controls the back torque. So I've talked to a lot of people and we do a lot of like tuning assisting for a lot of people around the world. and. I've, I kind of find that a large number definitely helps for people who want to do aggressive wheelies. Uh, so generally, I set most tunes to 60 and I've found that 60 is a good number. Um, that works for us and it works for a lot of people that I've that helped tune, so I definitely recommend 50 to 60. Um, as far as stop back current, 25 amp is very similar to like, oh, it's a little bit more aggressive than a two stroke regen. So just quickly back to EABS, you need this on and you need these sensors off for basically the back torque, the instant off feeling on the throttle. So definitely make sure that you, you have that. Um, we haven't done anything with the speedo here. Six is roughly right for a stock Suron with stock gearing. Um, in this case, we're not using the speedo at all. Truett actually has nothing on his bike, so nothing to show. Um, now super juicy, motor parameters, pretty much uh, We've done a motor calibration. Our motor rated speed is 6797. Um, our max motor rated speed is 12,000. This is kind of just default stuff. Um, motor poles is four because we're running the RS motor. The uh, direction one, you wouldn't change in this anyway. Um, AN, we set to eight. Um, I've played around with AN a few times just to kind of muck around with a bit of smoothing on the motor. Eight seems to be pretty good for the amount of amps we're running. So I'm definitely happy with that. Um, LM set to factory default, which is 22. So if you have a quick look at this, this RPM map, this is what me and Truett are essentially both running. Mine's a little bit different, but we just kind of had a bit of a feather with it just to try make them smooth. Really, really happy with how it feels basically up to, well, across the whole band really. This, this is perfect for, you know, the size sprockets we're running. We haven't really changed this. It's got some mild changes, but um, essentially we just kind of tapered it off slower. Um, just with that new new software update, we just allowed we can just basically run more power, really. But definitely have a good look at this. I'd recommend most people start with this, but maybe with a, a phase amps of 400 and a lower current, and then work those phase amps and current up as you go. Um, but yeah, I don't really see a case why you really need to change this map unless you were chasing a very different ride feel. This feels very communicative, does what you want it to do, and it's got absolutely heaps of poke. Yeah, and uh, if you want to help us out, please like, comment, and subscribe. We, you know, we want to start pushing things out there. So yeah, thanks heaps for watching, and uh, watch Stuart lose his arms on his bike soon.